Good morning from Ireland! On this day on the camper van after Kinsale and Clonakilty, we spent the night in Bantry and then made our way across to Healy Pass. Healy Pass is absolutely beautiful and shows some epic Irish scenery. Cascading waterfalls and mountains everywhere. We stopped to have some lunch here on the van and admired the views, as well as taking walks around. It was a little too windy for the drone though, unfortunately, otherwise we would have gotten some epic shots. We kept making our way around the Ring of Kerry in the van, making small stops at Kenmare and Sneem. I stopped by little shops to grab a couple of souvenirs and Sneem. It was adorable and colorful, but we kept going and made our stop for the night in Port McGee. I wish we would have been able to make it to the Skellig Islands, but unfortunately in the winter it was a no-go. But we saw some beautiful scenery along the way and grabbed a bite to eat in Port McGee for dinner. The next day, we took our time heading around the rest of the Ring of Kerry, where we stopped at a couple places for some coffee. I picked up the best spelt bread from K&T Bakery, by the way. It was a rainy day, so we didn't get to see way too much. We then stopped later at the Glenby Hotel, where I had my first seafood chowder for dinner. I loved the mussels in it. In Cremon, my friend owns the lovely cafe called Boathouse Cremon, where the decor is adorable and the treats are delicious. We were in the middle of Storm Eunice, so I didn't manage to get any videos outside, but the place is incredible with views over the water and dunes on the other side, and inside is so cute, so it's the perfect place to go. Then we made our way towards Killarney. So we were supposed to go to the Gap of Dunlow, but this is the weather at the moment. It is crazy. It felt like we were on a boat last night, the way that the camper was just rattling around. It's just so crazy. So unfortunately, we won't be able to make it to the Gap of Dunlow, uh, but we will head towards Killarney. I think it is a little bit sad, but it's good because we have stuff to come back and see now uh, when it's the spring or summer or something like that. But yeah, so off to Killarney now. Killarney is such an adorable town with lots of places to eat. We ate at the Shire, which is Ireland's only Lord of the Rings themed restaurant. I also really wanted to see Torque Waterfall, which was so much more impressive in real life than what I had seen in pictures. I can't wait to come back and do the Gap and Dunlow, Skellig Islands, and much more on a sunny summer's day. But next is the Dingle Peninsula.